Where are you going? We're supposed to do a show. Let's go. You're, You're going for a walk. Okay. Here's the dog. What's the dog's name? Briar. As in like you Briar know, Fox. He's becoming quite a star on my Instagram. I don't know if you've been following my Instagram, but he has more posts on my Instagram, I think, than I do. What? what? He is, he's a star. What does he post on Instagram? And he's so cute. He is cute. He's a very well-behaved guy. I just have guy. him pose and I post him on Instagram. He's my that. little hiker guy. And that's what we're going to talk about today <clears throat> is we're going to talk about exercise and why it's so good for your brain. Okay. So sometimes you need a dog to keep you accountable, right? Right. So how much uh, walking do you do? I mean, how much are you, I mean, normally I see you hiking. Yeah. Is there a big difference to you between hiking and walking? Right. Well, I try to walk every day, hike or walk. Uh, you know, I don't jog. Um, I, I get out every day. Um, I mean, I, I don't really know of many days that I miss mm -hmm. because it's just a way for me to clear my, clear my head and kind of set my intentions for the day. And I, I, I think it's kind of a form of meditation too. Walking meditation? Walking meditation. You know, obviously if you're going with a friend, you're not meditating, but if you go by yourself, it's just a way of clearing your head and just kind of collecting your thoughts for the day. And just, just, um, kind of like identifying like what, how do you want to show up today? So that's. That's something that I try to do in the morning, every day. And how much you, how, what do you think is a good walk? What's a good amount of time? Do I got to do four hours kind of thing? No, 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 no one has four hours. Uh, the, the least amount of time that I would walk in the morning would be 30 minutes. And okay. that would have to be with uh, some pretty big hills. Cause you know, you need to get a workout too, right? Right. So um, I try to walk every morning, at least 30 minutes. But even if you went out for 10 minutes and I wanted to kind of just tell this little bit of a story. My dog wants to pee. I wanted to tell this little story about my dad that I observed this week down here in Southern California. So they lived down here in the desert during the winter time. And so my dad got up in the morning and instead of putting on his shoes and going out for a nice walk, which I've really been trying to tell him to do, he decided that instead he would put, he would get um, his cup of coffee and he would sit down with his computer at the chair and start just hammering out emails, looking at the stock market, looking at all of his investments, seeing how he did. And lo and behold, within not even 10 minutes, he was in the worst mood. He was grumbling and I came over early for a cup of coffee to see how they were doing. He was in the worst mood and I'm like, dad, what's going on today? And my mom's like, well, your father got up this morning and instead of putting his workout shoes on and going outside and enjoying the beautiful sunshine and the amazing day, he decided to look at his emails and his text messages and his investments in the stock market. Of course, everything was terrible. And so that set his mood for the day. And I said, dad, you can't start your day like that. That's just like the worst way to start your day. But then I started thinking, Rusty, like how many people do that? How many people get up in the morning and they start looking at social media immediately, or they start reading emails, or they start looking at things that um, they have to do for the day that really is probably not what they want going into their head first thing in the morning. Because it does kind of set your mood for the day. Instead, how about getting up in the morning, first thing in the morning, putting your shoes on, getting your workout clothes on, and heading to the gym, or heading outside or heading to your garage, wherever you have some workout equipment. Uh, outside, I really feel is, is, is important. Um, you know, I am a big proponent of getting outside and enjoying nature because it has a way of clearing your soul and your mind so effectively. So anyway, the differences between the two are phenomenal and it's, it's a great way of starting your day. My daughter and I walk a lot together in the morning. Uh, my older daughter, Jordan, because she lives really close to where I live. And she always says, mom, it's so interesting when I walk in the morning versus the days that I don't walk in the morning, my day goes entirely different. So even though you spend 40 minutes walking, she's already noticed that when she does that, her day, she gets more done. Her mood is better. She stays on task as opposed to the days that she doesn't do it, that she sleeps in or she just decides to bail on it. Her day doesn't go as good. So I think that's interesting that we, when we spend the time and we take care of ourselves first thing in the morning, our day goes better. And it's the opposite of what you think because a lot of times you think, oh, I just don't have time to do it today. I just can't fit it in. But then everything just gets messed up. 
but I think a lot of it is what's happening in your head that we're not taking care of first thing in the morning. So I love exercise first thing in the morning. I think exercise any time of the day is great. If you can do double exercise this time of year, when you're trying to whittle off some weight, exercise twice a day is even much more effective for <coughs> losing weight because it's really a changing what your what your normal pattern would be and and tricking your metabolism and anything you can do to trick your metabolism intermittent fasting uh lading uh waiting later into the day, uh, late later into the morning or, or early afternoon to start eating exercising twice a day we're doing cardio morning and night even if it's 10 or 15 minutes where you're really getting your heart pumping those things really change your metabolism and not only are they good for your mind and just the just the daily just handling the daily grind but it also is really good for tricking your metabolism and losing weight so i just wanted to share that with you today that starting your day instead of getting on the computer and getting on your phone starting your day with exercise and enjoying these awesome animals that you have at home that really need to be exercised is a great way is a great thing to do for yourself and the people that you love what else would you suggest to do right this second other than just exercise? Right this second? Yeah. It, other than exercise? Yeah. Uh, go to Starbucks and get a coffee? I don't know. That one. And subscribe. Oh. Hit the subscribe button. <laughs> That's right. Subscribe. Please listen to the show. We have, we have a whole library of awesome shows. You can go back and listen to all different types of subjects. And uh, these are easy to grasp. They're easy to listen to. I try to keep it uh, real simple, and uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying them. Also, go where? NishaJackson.com is the and website, or TakeBrandX.com. You're so good. I need my Brand X right now. <laughs> I need my pickup sticks. <laughs> you're, you're so good, you're taking my job. All right, we appreciate you. So hit the subscribe button, and we'll catch you next time. I'm Rusty, carrying the camera. That's Nisha, and this is the Nisha Jackson Show. And that's Briar. <laughs>